The Role of Genetics in Anxiety and Depression. This presentation will introduce you to the wider field of genetic research and then specifically to the type of genetic research being utilised in the current research project. I'm Dr Danielle Einstein and I'll be running you through this presentation together with Teresa Donnelly. You might be wondering, what are genes? So, genes are the chemical instructions for our bodies. Each individual gene is an instruction for the body to make a specific protein. These proteins are the molecular building blocks within the body. Collectively, this is our DNA. Each cell in the body contains the same identical set of genes. Sets of genes control features, for example hair and eye colour, or create bodily processes, for example digesting the carbohydrates in our food. Where do genes come from? Half of your genes come from your mother and half of your genes come from your father. Your DNA is made up from a unique combination of chromosomes, unless you're an identical twin. Girls have 23 matching pairs of chromosomes, boys have 22 matching pairs of chromosomes and one odd pair. Take a look at this image. Over on the left you can see what a chromosome looks like. Chromosomes contain very tightly wound DNA. If we zoom in, we can see the structure of the DNA. You must unwind the DNA and then unwind the DNA many, many times to observe the DNA double helix. How are our genes expressed? To determine our characteristics, there are two sets of instructions called alleles, one from mum and one from dad. Each characteristic is determined by one allele only. This is the expressed gene. The gene that is not expressed is still there, but is dormant in your chromosomes, perhaps to be passed on to your children. A gene may be dominant or recessive. Dominant genes are always expressed, whereas recessive genes are only expressed when there is no competition. The term heredity refers to all our characteristics that are passed down to us from our parents via their input into our genes. These include physical features, for example hair and eye colour. Psychological features are also inherited, for example the way we think and patterns of response. You might be wondering what is genetic research? Genetic research includes many different areas. Genetic testing, gene therapy and re reproductive genomics are a few. What is DNA profiling? DNA profiling is used largely by forensic scientists to identify individuals by their unique DNA. Think CSI. To do this, scientists collect genetic samples and analyse unique sequences of chromosomes to create an individual profile or what they call a DNA fingerprint. This fingerprint can then be used to identify a person by matching with other genetic samples. We will not be using the genetic samples you provide to create a genetic profile. Other research uses of genetic samples include testing for the presence of genetic disorders that may be expressed or passed on to future children. We will not be using the genetic samples you provide to test for genetic disorders. So why do we need your genes? Remember that genetic variability is one broad factor that is associated with causing depression and anxiety in adolescents. Research suggests that some genetic variations can both increase or decrease the risk of a young person developing depression or anxiety. These genetic variations interact with a number of what we call environmental factors, such as stressful life events, family dynamics or other factors. The presence of these genetic differences may explain why, when two individuals experience the same life events, they may have different psychological reactions. Differential susceptibility is a hypothesis that we're examining in this study. Take an orchid and a dandelion. In ideal conditions, an orchid will flourish. If the conditions are poor, it will struggle. 
In comparison, a dandelion will flower in a range of conditions. Research has found that the presence of a specific allele is associated with increased levels of depression if the person is in a high stress environment. The same research suggests that when this allele is paired with another identified allele and the environment is non-stressful, there are often much lower levels of depression compared with people who don't have this genetic combination. In this slide, the red line represents the orchid and the black line represents the dandelion. One aim of this study is to see if genes can predict treatment success. So, we understand that certain genes or alleles interact with the environment to determine an outcome. We're interested in seeing how that gene is expressed and asking whether it's expressed in thinking styles. You're probably wondering how are we going to collect your genetic information? DNA will be obtained simply by the collection of saliva samples. We are going to search for common genetic variations on specific genes. We would like to reassure you of the confidentiality of your genetic data. No individual information, for example genetic profile or a genetic predisposition to other disorders, will be available. We will not be extracting this data, so we cannot provide it to you. All procedures maintain confidentiality and privacy of the individual. No one will be given access to individual results on target genes.